Facebook Live coming to you from Meadow Mill in Hamden. Tell us about your weekend plans in the comments field below. Like, share, and follow at hashtag JMarWeekend. I am still Amanda, and this is still Simone, and we are here for you. So <laughs> we haven't changed all your needs. We got you. Uh, I finally went to see Crazy Rich Asians against my will. Uh huh. I knew I like I tried to be open minded because everyone's loving this movie and it's right. the most popular movie. And I was like, fine, we can just do it because I need to know what everyone's so excited uh-huh. about. No, totally really? trite. Oh. So superficial. I, I wasn't offended like from a racial standpoint. Right. I was just offended because. It was just about money and stuff and materialistic and gaudy. And mm. it was like a commercial mm-hmm. for it with every product placement and name dropping you could do. Like that's if we terrible. just sat here for 10 minutes and just listed designer names, that's what it was. And was it doing that ironically at all? I mean, maybe it was, but like the writing didn't seem particularly clever. The storyline, the plot development, the character development. Ew. What, is, what is happening to people? I knew. Yes, I did know I wasn't going to love it, but everyone's loving it. So it I had to, to me try. constantly, though. I know. I, I never like I anything know. that other people like. I, it's true. But yeah, no, mm-hmm. I, I, I can't recommend it. Yet, I wanted to go see so many other things yeah. like Juliet Naked. I need to see that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did you go to Bookfest? No, I wish I had. Um, I, other than going for a really fun trip to Annapolis, oh, that's nice. I, I was been like Annapolis glued a while. to the oh, Kavanaugh oh, stuff, that. and that was a big mistake. <laughs> I wasted a lovely yeah. weekend with that because the weather was incredible. I know. This I mean, I you know I was outside a lot. Uh, yeah, but, I took but a nice walk. Other than that, that's pretty much all I did. I was down at Bookfest and it was wonderful. Oh, I, I haven't I haven't gone to Bookfest since it left Mount Vernon because I was very attached to it being in Mount uh-huh. Vernon, and it it's fine down at the yeah, harbor. I and liked it last year. Lots of crowds. I got to introduce Moriel Rothman Zecker, who mm-hmm. wrote "Sadness Is a White Bird." He was fantastic. Oh, good. good reader, like really good story. Good. Everyone should read that. Um, so yeah, tell us what you thought of the Baltimore Book Festival this week. This year, and also um, we went to the ice cream social at Ben and Jerry's, oh, yeah. and Taharka hosted. And I wish I had gone. Yeah, we sent our intern, but too. it yeah. seemed like a really good event. So if you went to that, tell us how that was. How that was. Yeah. So we are in the midst of fall art season. Mm-hmm. So there's lots of new exhibits opening at area museums. Um, before we get to those, what have you got for us today? Okay, so today um, is the Potter Party at Baltimore Soundstage. Yay. The Wizarding World event returns with a sorting hat ceremony, a game show, a drink menu, karaoke, photo booth, costume contest, and more. Party nerdy style. Love it. That's my favorite way to party. Yeah. It's an 18, <laughs> year, 18 years old and over only event. And the doors open at 7. Do you know what house you belong to? No. But... Um, I think I'm Ravenclaw. Is that an option? Really? I think I've been sorted and that's what I came up I, with. I don't know what I am. <laughs> what do you think I am? Gryffindor. Good. That's what I was hoping you'd Yeah, say. I wasn't going to say Slytherin. Not on the air. <laughs> <laughs> but she really thinks so. It's a different story. No. All right. All um, right. So, guess who's in D.C. at 9.30 Club Sunday, Saturday night? Simple Minds. Oh, my God. It is sold out. We just needed to say it because I'm jealous that I'm missing that. Um. Uh, don't, don't Speaking you of about things me. of that nature, yeah, I didn't tell you this, and what? I am going to mention oh, no. it again uh, soon. But what? guess what I'm going to? Uh, um, since it's been rescheduled, that's a hint. <gasps> oh, you're going to John Cusack? Oh man! Yep. Okay, that's good. I'm happy for you that you're going yeah. because somebody should. Yeah, somebody should. Oh, I, I'm actually kind of not expecting that much. I got to be honest. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Yeah. He's just going to talk about himself and his career and his anecdotes about know, stuff. But, but I just want to lay Lloyd eyes Dobler, on him. You know? Lloyd Dobler. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, so Simple Minds is happening, and you guys who right. are going are lucky because yeah. don't you forget about me. All right, what else? Dancing, you know it, baby. <laughs> what else is happening? Okay, also, oh, I want to go to this too. Parenting an art without a manual is at Avan. Yeah, like a year to get there, so you're okay. good. Okay, the American Visionary Art Museum's newest exhibit focuses on the complex art of parenting. Tell me about it. It showcases works by 36 artists working in every possible medium, and it runs until next September. There's a preview party tonight from 7 to 10. Nice. Yes. Fun. 
Ah, Lolita at the Parkway. Love it. The Parkway has been celebrating director Stanley Kubrick's contribution to cinema by screening two of his works a month. Mm -hmm. You might find it creepy in today's climate. Yep. (laughs) <laughs> but it's also worth viewing as a film classic. It is a classic, and it's actually yeah. really great. And yeah. it, there's somebody just wrote a book that um, Nabokov based it on a real kidnapping, yeah. which I had never heard about. That sounds and fascinating. Yeah, it's an interesting mm-hmm. story for all okay. that. Well, that um, starts at four. And also, so A Clockwork Orange is next ah. on the schedule, which is pretty much my all-time favorite movie. That. that would be good to see on a big screen. I love it. What yeah. are, do you have other Kubrick favorites? Not off the top of my head, no. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think. Well, still metal, full metal jacket. Mm, I can't, I can't um, deal with war movies. So I like, that's a really good one, really though. Good, I just stay away yeah. from them. Yeah. I'm not a big um, 2001 fan. Mm. I'm not. Shining. Shining. Oh, that's yes. probably the best. Shining that is Shining is a solid, good favorites. music movie. Yes. Uh, yes. I've been wanting to see that lately. Like recently, I saw Rosemary's Baby, and I was oh, like, "Okay, that's now I want to see The Shining again." The Shining is a little bit obnoxious because all Shelley Duvall does is screech oh. through the whole movie, and you're like, "Is this how women were directed in the '70s? This is what they were supposed to do?" And she is wearing some crazy outfits. Really? Like she's just walking around this big hotel in the snowstorm in like these weird platform boots and overall. I mean, she looks ridiculous, but it is it is really a trippy movie. Right. There's all sorts of things in there that you forget are in there, like well, really yeah. disturbing things. I hate though. I hate though when I go back to a movie that I've loved and I see it again and I'm like disappointed. I hope you're that not going to be happen. disappointed by The Shining. All right. And I have never ever been disappointed by Clockwork Orange. I could watch that movie like once every six months. Mm. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, let's see what else. Oh, Canton Fall Festival at Patterson Park. Oh, that should be fun. Mm-hmm. Enjoy live music, food trucks, and more than a dozen local vendors. And the event also features a mule fest, like the drink, not the animal. From Either way, it sounds like fun to me. Yeah, I would love to see some mules. <laughs> I, I'd rather walking drink around them. Canton. I prefer drinking mm-hmm. some mules myself. Mm-hmm. If you're just joining us, you are watching Jay Moore's Weekend Agenda on Facebook Live. Tell us what you're doing this weekend. Or what you did last weekend. In the comments field below, like, share, and follow at hashtag Jamer Weekend. What else? So Saturday and Sunday is the Baltimore Taco Festival at Power Plant Live. Woohoo! Taco Heaven awaits if you can get in. Yes. There'll be more than 25 taco vendors, a make-your-own margarita bar, mm, a tequila expo, a chili pepper and taco eating contest, mm. and more. Starts at 1 on Saturday. That sounds I fun. I could have some chili peppers right now. Yeah. Because I won't feel the burn going oh, down. And yeah, it might, I like... actually can't have that anymore okay. in my stomach. Okay. All right. Nobody needs to know that. All right. <laughs> International Edgar Allan Poe Festival this is, is on Amity best. Street. Enjoy two days of books, art, and music in honor of Baltimore's favorite author. There will also be poetry, theater performances, vendors, food, and an award ceremony honoring the next generation of writers to continue Poe's legacy. This is awesome. Like, finally, yes. Baltimore, what took us so long? Yeah. Why haven't we ever done this? We need to like, take we've ownership. Had, we've had events. We've had, like, things around Halloween. Mm-hmm. We've had things around the birth and the death and the the to- Poe toaster. But, like, you know, he might have been born in Boston, but he died and was found delirious in our streets. Yay. On the, yeah. Thanks for dying and being, like, delirious. <laughs> yes. That's how we do in Actually, Baltimore. Actually, not in that order, probably. No, at first he was delirious, <laughs> then he died. Yeah. And it was this very weekend, oh 1849. Shout out to wow. EAP. So All what's right. your favorite post story? Uh, I'm going to go with the telltale heart. I think um, I like that one. I, you know, I... I just like I need to th- see The Shining again, I need to read these stories Re-read them because it's been a, a very long time and I wish I remember. I read more. all of them in high school. Yeah. I actually went to high school with a girl named Ligia because she was named after his poem. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. yeah. All right. What's going on Sunday? All right. Trucks for Tots at the Maryland Zoo. Kids can explore a variety of large trucks and emergency vehicles, climb on the trucks, take their pictures with them, and it's free with zoo admission. That's from 10 to 1. Ooh, John yes. Waters in decent exposure at the BMA. Yeah. Finally, the retrospective we've all been waiting for. It's true. Celebrate the Pope of Trash's storied film and visual arts career with more than 160 photographs, sculptures, and video works. The exhibit also includes items from Waters' home and three peep shows. I like a good peep show. Yeah. The exhibit runs through January 6th, and the BMA will also be holding special events, including an artist conversation, a book signing, and a film marathon. Cool. Can you think of a favorite? What's your favorite John Waters movie? 
Uh, it kind of has to say hairspray. Is really? that really okay. trite? I no, it's not trite. It's I haven't it's okay. seen the the, the old, old really stuff. crazy ones because yeah, I'm like a amazing. relative newcomer to Baltimore okay. and wasn't paying that much attention until yeah. I got here. Polyester for sure. All right. Um. Yeah, I like Pecker too. But right. anyway, yeah, Pecker's uh, good. <laughs> and a dirty shame is amazing. Mm. What is that? Uh, anyway. Cry baby. Okay, Cry we baby. could go on yeah. and on. All right. So John Mayer at the Mo- at the Model Lyric. The acoustic evening is hosted by Paul Reed Smith Guitars to benefit the Johns Hopkins Kimmel Cancer Center, Very and nice. that's at eight thirty. All right. Mm-hmm. So before we go, our newest issue is out. We oh, forgot yeah. to tell you last week, or we didn't have well, it. We didn't have it. We yet. didn't have it. We didn't forget anything. We just didn't have it. So it's the health wise issue. I'm clearly the poster child. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> um, and we've got stories about sleep disorders, cosmetic surgery, mm-hmm. brain trauma, mm-hmm. uh, new new cutting edge trends. Um, oh yeah, what else? Uh, medical myths. Oh, that I like that. That was my um, favorite. Like oh, you can thanks. find out if you're allowed to have coffee, dark chocolate, wine. Basically, my diet. Right. Find right. out how yeah. how healthy I am. Right. Um, <laughs> So, so pick vapes, up a copy. Vaping is very bad, though. That yeah, don't vape. About. No vaping. Um, Definitely wine, though. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So lots of lots of good stuff in here. Yeah. Um, check pick, it out. Right. Pick, pick up a up. copy. It's at a hundred and sixty locations across the city. Uh, so we are having a J Biz networking event, November seventh, Renaissance Fine Arts in Cross Keys. Get your tickets now. Go to jmoreliving.com slash jbizmeetup. You have been watching jmore's Weekend Agenda. Join us here Fridays at 1230 for more weekend plans and follow us at hashtag jmoreweekend. Find more events at jmoreliving.com. Events. Also remember to tune in Thursday at 1230 for This Week in Baltimore Eating. Uh, Simone will be back next week with Carolyn Lynch from Mix Solo. You guys be nice to them and we will see you in a few yeah, weeks. Yeah, be nice to us. Bye. Bye.